What's going on guys? My name is Mitch underscore Robs and today we're gonna be talking about some Plankerton Endurance. Yeah, we're gonna be going over an amp build today and we're gonna be talking about Cliff Amp, which is the amp south of the Storm Shield. And we're gonna be talking about the east side of it. So if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be coming out with all of the Plankerton amps as well as like a bunch of Mythic Storm King content, some Dungeons content, whatever I really feel like making. Um, and make sure to leave a comment, see what amp we want next. But we're going to be talking about Cliff Amp today. So Cliff Amp is directly south of the Storm Shield. We're going to jump up here, and it's going to be this amp right here. It's going to be my B Amp. So the reason it's called Cliff Amp, I just made that up on the spot. There's a giant-ass cliff on the left, and there's a giant-ass cliff over here. Uh, that you can throw them off of. So why not call it Cliff Amp? But so today we're going to be doing Cliff Amp, and we're going to be going over the East Side Tunnel. The East Side Tunnel, you guessed it, is directly to the east of uh, Cliff Amp. So let's let's go over the basic tunnel layout. So we're going to walk them up this natural ramp. They're going to get hit by some ceiling drop traps. Uh, they're going to walk along to the right. There's going to be a floating platform underneath us. We're going to walk over here. They're going to get booped off over there. They're going to walk up here, and then they're just going to walk straight in here. Uh, they're never going to make it there because this is actually a really hella good tunnel. But, um, alright, so let's go over exactly how we're gonna do our block off. So if you guys have never seen how someone does block off in this game, it basically comes down to utilizing something called a sandwich and a full sandwich. A sandwich is basically a cone edited to protect one side or two sides. So this is protect two sides. So if you walk to the east, uh, you can't go through it. And if you walk to the south, you can't go through it. Or you uh, make a ramp and they can't walk through it to the east. So a sandwich is basically that, but surrounded in walls. So if I break through it, it takes three layers to go through it. The other thing is a full sandwich. And this is if you have very little space to work with. You put an edited floor piece in there because you can't walk through it, so Hus can't. Then you uh, do a sandwich. So that's called a full sandwich. And a, uh, a sandwich or a half sandwich is the one without the floor piece. So now let's go over the traps we're going to be using in this. So we're going to be using ceiling drop traps. The spawn trap ones are going to be um, double durability. Hold on, we'll just go... Yeah, we have to go down because I don't have the resources to craft them right now. But um, we have double durability ones with crit rating, crit damage, and reload speed for the spawn trap ones. And we have these ceiling drop traps for the ramp ones. These are going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload speed, and durability. We have floor launchers. I think they're going to be three times impact, two times reload speed, and four times impact, one reload speed. I think I have both of those in there. Wall darts. Wall darts are going to have crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, durability, increased building health. I think the rolls, I can change those up a little bit. We have three times impact, two times reload speed, and knockback uh, wall launchers. We have wall launchers with all durability and two reload speed. We have wooden floor spikes with all durability. I think we potentially have wall lights in here, but these are my uh, wall light perks. There's going to be one impact to knockback, two reload speed, two durability, and one effect duration. And we are going to have ceiling gas traps. These are going to have damage, crit damage, crit rating, reload speed, durability. Ceiling electric fields are going to have energy, crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, increased building health. Ceiling Zapper, which is going to have Element Energy, Damage, Crit Damage, Crit Rating, Reload Speed, Durability. And we're going to have Sound Walls. These are going to have 2 Reload Speed, All Durability, 1 Effect Duration. We're going to have Tar Pits, which are going to be All Durability. We also have Wall Spikes. These are going to have Heals Building Attached and All Damage Perks on them. Alright, so let's go through the... Um, actually, how to build the tunnel. So, we went over exactly where the tunnel goes through. Now let's figure out how to build it. So we're going to come to this natural ramp over here on the right side. This is going to be the beginning of our tunnel. We're going to place a wall. We're going to start at the bottom. So this is there's nothing going to be here. No wall or anything. There's no floor. We're going to go up one tile. And then we're going to place a wall launcher with the all durability to reload speed. Going to go up one more tile. And that's going to be a wall launcher with all durability to re reload speed. We're going to have a little pillar at it so they don't walk too close to this. Because if they're walking too close to this left wall, this is such a high uh, husk density area. Meaning there's just a lot of husks piled up one next to each other. If a husk gets too close to the wall, 
um, what happens if the wall launcher hits all of them, they could potentially hit off each other and one could phase to the wall and then they're beating on the block off. So we have um, these little pillars to make sure they don't get too close to the wall. We're going to have a blue wooden floor spike. We're going to have a sound wall uh, with the two reload speed. We're going to have a wall launcher with all durability perks. We're going to have the little pillar so they don't get too close to it. We're going to have all dur... I think this is actually... A yeah, I think this is a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. And then below it's going to be a wooden floor spike. We're going to go one tile over, and this is going to be floating tile, if you guys can see. This is going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed floor launcher. And we're going to have um, these little quarter low walls attached to it so that it staggers or cycles uh, sm smashers. So if they walk right here, the smashers are getting booped off. And same on this side, if they walk, they'll be on the right side of the pathway. So then there's going to be a tar pit. This is still going to be floating. There's going to be a wall launcher with three times impact, two times reload speed. There's going to be a gas trap above. We're going to keep going forward. There's going to be a stagger cycler edited low wall. There's going to be a tar pit, three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher, ceiling gas trap. We're going to have another little edited quarter wall. We're going to have a ramp with um, these wooden floor spikes on them. Hold on. Let me see if I can find them real quick. Uh, they have heals building attached, and they're just a DPS wooden floor spike, so they have crit rating, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage. Um, to the left, there's going to be a wall with wall spikes or wall lights on them. This is so if any husk does beat on this floor, this can these wooden floor spikes can heal it, as well as the wall lights uh, will stun them so they won't beat on anymore. We're going to go one tile up. There's going to be a um, a three times impact, two times reload speed wall launcher. To the left, there's going to be a wall. Above it, we don't have anything here. But realistically, you could probably add a ceiling drop trap here, which is what we're going to do right now. Then we're going to have a stagger cycler right here, which is an edited low wall. We're going to have a floor attached to it. This is going to be a, I want to say a four times impact, one times reload speed floor launcher. So it boops them all the way up here, and then they get shot off. As well as... um. The one behind it's going to be a three times impact, two times reload speed. So there's going to be a wall, three times impact, two times reload speed, floor launcher, a wall to the left, and a wall to the right. This is just so the husk don't wander over here. We're going to then have an archway piece, and then we're going to have uh, three ramps attached to the top of it. So we go up top here, there's going to be one, two, three ramps up. This is just to allow, like, the floor launcher to work and to shoot them across of it. Alright. So that's a pretty simple tunnel. That's literally the tunnel. Uh, the, the majority of this is block off. So we'll go over that now. So let's start at the first piece of block off um, that we should do. Alright, so let's start right behind our first little sound wall here. So we're at the top of this natural ramp and we're at this sound wall. We're going to go behind the south wall to the south, and there's going to be an edited cone piece facing the northeast, and that's going to be surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain side. We're going to go to the east one tile. There's also going to be a cone facing the northeast, and that's going to be surrounded in walls. We're going to go hop to the east again one tile. There's going to be a cone facing the southeast, and that's going to be surrounded in walls, except for on this little um, drop-off side right here. All right. So now uh, we're going to go back to where that sound wall was. And we're uh, to the south again. And then we're going to take one st uh, step to the west. There's going to be a cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step to the north. There's going to be a cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. We're going to take a step to the north. There's going to be a cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. And this should attach to the tunnel. So we're going to take a step to the west. There's going to be a cone facing the northeast, surrounded in walls. Except for on the natural terrain side, I'm a bot, so that was there. But, I mean, let's just place it up there, because I don't have any storage base right now. So, we're going to keep that metal there and actually just store it, <laughs> honestly. But, uh, so we're going to take a step to the south, and there's going to be a natural ramp right here. Uh, there's going to be a floors. Uh, there's going to be floors here. Ooh, perfect. That metal can come to good use. I can break that wall again, lol. Uh, so you're going to tier 3 all this, but there's going to be a wall uh, surrounding this cone piece, and then there's going to be a floor and a pyramid on top of it. So floor pyramid on top of the natural ramp. Then these are going to be surrounded in walls on each side, uh, on each side, except for like the ones where like the husk won't go. 
And then we're going to have a cone facing the southeast and a cone facing the northeast behind it. And then on the south side of this wall, there's going to be a cone facing the northeast. And that should be the block off. Uh, for the main block off there's there's other block off in this as well but uh, the amp design is basically if we look at this amp design it's just wall surrounding the amp there's nothing special we have to do with it so let's go to the other block off because uh they can go up these natural ramps over here and it can get pretty annoying so we we sufficiently block that off all right so first things first we're gonna go to this little ghost amplifier that we have here and we're gonna go over here there's a natural ramp here I don't know how best to showcase, except for editing this real quick. But there's a natural ramp right here. We're going to place a wall on the east and the south side of it. And these are going to have wall spikes on it. So when we're AF, uh, when we're, um, when we're AFKing at our AFK spot over there, little husklings will like to, to come over to us. No matter where we are on the map, they'll try to target us. And this is one of the things, they'll just come over here and beat on this block off. So I put wall spikes on it with healing attached, and this is sufficient enough to kill them. So we have this wall, this wall. We have a floor, a pyramid. We have a wall. We have a cone facing the southwest. And then we have a wall. And that should be sufficient enough block off. Now we're going to come over here to the second natural ramp. We're going to place a wall with a wall spike and another wall with a wall spike. We're going to come up. There's going to be a floor and then there's going to be a cone. There's going to be a wall, a floor, and a cone. We're going to surround that in walls. There's going to be, uh, we're going to take a step to the west. There's going to be a cone facing the southeast, surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain sides. We're going to take a step to the north. There's going to be a cone facing the southeast, surrounded in walls, except for on the natural terrain side, and behind it, one tile. We're going to take a step to the east, and there's going to be a cone facing the southeast, surrounded in walls, except for at the drop-off. That should be the block-off for this tunnel. It's really relatively simple, actually. All right, so now let's uh, let's talk Lobber Shield uh, and some other little block-off areas. So Lobber Shield-wise, where are we going to start it? So... We're going to start right here at this block off uh, that we had created earlier. It's our farthest most east right here. And if you come to this natural ramp, it's the one directly to the tile west and up above. We're going to start by placing a uh, an edited cone piece or ramp, whatever you want to place. And we're going to go one, two high. And we're going to go one, two, three, four tiles over. So it's going to be a two by four area that you're going to block off right here. This is just so stuff at spawn doesn't throw. Alright. And then attached to that same little block off piece that we did, we're going to have a floor tile with a ceiling drop trap on it. So we're going to start our ceiling drop trap spawn trap. So there's going to be, uh, we're going to be in this tile, we just placed it. There's going to be ceiling drop trap underneath it. We're going to go to the right one tile, to the north, um, and there's going to be a ceiling drop trap on this. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap to the west one tile. And then we're going to have a wall, and then we're going to place another ceiling drop trap above that. What this is going to allow us to do is anything on this ramp right here is going to get ceiling drop trapped and hit and staggered and fall off and knocked off, knocked around, and back down this ramp or off the ramp. Alright, so now uh, we've covered this piece right here, this piece, then this piece. So now we have this to go over. So now we have... So we're here at this piece. We're going to go one tile to the east. And this is going to be a ceiling drop trap. To the right one tile, this is going to have a ceiling drop trap on it. We're going to go uh, back to our original tile. We're going to go to the left. There's going to be a ceiling drop trap. So that should be a three by one. And then we're going to go forward to the east. There's going to be a two by one of ceiling drop traps. And then we're going to have one tile of ceiling drop trap. And then it should connect to our, um, our ceiling drop trap spawn trap for our south side of A amp. But uh, I'll give you guys a little bit better view of that. So you guys can see exactly how it's designed. It's really not that, that hard. There's just one, two, three ceiling drop traps, two, one. So it's like a little pyramid triangle thingy. Alright, so let's keep going over our, uh, our lava shield. So now we're going to go to this first wall launcher that's pushing towards the east. And we're going to go over here and we're going to place our lava shield. We're going to have one... Uh, one little cone tile, edited cone tile or ramp tile. We're going to go up three uh, cone tiles. And then we're going to go over one, 
two, three. So this is going to be a three by three grid of uh, ramp tiles right here. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to have an edited uh, cone piece with the three sides taken out to the northeast. We're going to go up to the east one tile. Uh, that's going to be a ramp piece. Another ramp piece up, so there's two ramp pieces. We're going to go to the left one tile. This is going to be an edited cone piece with the three tiles taken out to the northeast. Then we're going to have a ramp above that to the east. And then we're going to have another cone piece edited to the northeast. We're going to go to the west of that. There's going to be a cone piece. And then above that to the north is going to be a ramp piece. All right, so we should have covered uh, all of this section right here. So now let's go back to our original edited cone piece that's low enough. We're going to go up to the north. One, two, three tiles. All right. We're going to go to the west one tile. There's going to be a one by two. Uh, or two by one, two, three four grid so there's gonna be a two by four grid right here of ramp pieces and this is gonna serve as a lobber shield off to the left over here and we'll show you why uh we're gonna take a step up there's a ceiling drop trap right here underneath us if we look at this our tunnel we're gonna have a one two three high ramp right here so that we protect from lobber shield from this way to the north so why why do we need this big ass lobber shield here that's what you guys are asking right now well we're sending them off the cliff right here on this left side and if they get down here well flingers and lobbers can throw so we we try to limit exactly where they can throw from uh and we have a little specific uh specific block off for that so we went over the lobber shield on exactly how to cover it but uh what, what's preventing the husk from just walking over here and throwing from here? Well, we, 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 we took that into account. So I surrounded my amplifier, my storm shield uh, north with walls. And that, that was a huge thing for that because it just gives protection on all sides. But it also serves a dual purpose. So when husks get thrown off over here, we have an extra little like block off. So they don't A, get thrown farther back over this way and can throw from a different weirder angle as well as they can't walk over here to the west so how do we how do we build this little block off area so we're gonna start over here uh near uh the east amp we're gonna go one tile over to the left to the west and then one tile back and there's gonna be a wall we're gonna place one two three four five walls until it connects to our amplifier build all right we're going to go one tile to the south and then another tile and we're going to place a wall spike on our amplifier build. We're going to go one tile to the west and then one tile to the south and there's going to be a wall. This is going to have wall spikes on it with the heels building attached. Another wall with the, to the south with wall spikes with heels building attached. And then we're going to have another wall with a heels building attached. The husks aren't going to walk through this little gap. Uh, it's just not in their AI. So we don't really have to build a wall here. But I mean, if it makes you feel safe and it makes you feel uh, protected, you can put a wall here if you want. But uh, this is for the little husklings and for anything that wants to throw from over there. They have to walk over here and uh, hit this. Because you'll get little husklings that'll walk all the way from spawn all the way over here and want to get to you up on that platform. And they'll beat on this little wall right here. I don't know, man. It just happens. But uh, this is just our preventative measure for like from this and allows us to have like a shortened throwing area for them. But that should be basically it for this build. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like the video. Clearly, I mean, I don't know if it does anything, but it makes me feel happy if I see likes on the video. As well as uh, comment what amp you guys would like to see next. I have a bunch of different amps here. Uh, so tell me which ones you guys next as well as uh, subscribe to the channel. I'm coming to come out with a content like this all the time, but uh, thank you guys for watching